Hi, Sam here, and I'm really excited today because we have Christy Valenzuela from crystalfocus.com. Christy, it's great having you here because I have a question for you. I'm ready. So, first of all, thanks for taking the time, but here's a question. In today's world, we keep talking to stylists about getting these clients and these guests to pre-book, pre-book, pre-book. So, any, is there any best way or any tip that you have in terms of pre-booking a client? Okay, so that's a loaded question. Mm -hmm. It probably deserves about 90 minutes, but I'm gonna give you the best I have in little snippets, okay? Okay, great. First of all, pre-booking is an important part of our business, right? It's really yes, it um, job security. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to understand we need goals for that. As a service provider, as a stylist, when you're brand new on the floor, a re really great goal for that would be 50% of everybody walking out the door should be pre-booked before they leave, okay? Mm -hmm. So first it starts with a goal. Now as you grow your career, you're gonna want 60%, 70%, 80% to your rock star level and you know people are leaving with their next appointment because they know if they don't, They'll never get They'll in. They'll never get in, okay? Mm -hmm. But that's a process we know, right? Yes, it is, yes. So before we get to that status, we need to have a game plan. And we need what I call team synergy. Say synergy. Synergy. So synergy, if you looked up the word synergy in the dictionary, you would see that it means when two or more things come together to achieve one sum, mm -hmm. okay? It's kind of mathematical. Okay. Now, if you put the word team in front of synergy, it really becomes about flesh and blood and eyes and smiles and people, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it does. So team synergy, the meaning would be when two or more people come together to achieve one common goal. In this case, Maybe mm -hmm. the front desk and the service provider coming together with a game plan on making sure that client leaves with their next appointment, okay? We have to do this in synergy. It can't happen by accident and both people need to play. So first of all, Sam, that service provider needs to talk about mm -hmm. the maintenance of that a special look we're creating during the consultation, during the time their hands are in the hair, during the time they're finishing, and finally before we leave the station. We're always talking about the maintenance of this look, and I'm sure you talk about that all the time. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So Very important. The client clearly knows throughout this process when they're coming back. Now, they simply will say, now, Sam, before you leave, our amazing front desk is going to help you schedule your next appointment. See how we just set mm -hmm. the client up to know what's next. So the front desk is there waiting. Now, when we've effectively done that as a service provider, the script we would use at the front desk is, when did your service provider want to see you back? Or when did Jackie w want to see you back for your next cut and color? So then, you know, that conversation has already started. A weak script would be, do you want to pre-book your next appointment? That one doesn't yes, work. Yes, okay? right. It's so, not a matter of giving them the choice, right? Right, right. So we really need to set it up during the process of our hands in the hair. Mm. We let them know the front desk is going to take it from here. We set the front desk up for success. Now, another quick tip would be to, I call it, write it down. So send the front desk a love note. Maybe on the service ticket they're using, just write down the next uh, weeks, like six weeks cut and color. That goes up with the slip to cash them out, and the front desk can, can see say, mm -hmm. I see that Jackie would like to see you back in six weeks for your cut and color. Let's go ahead and get that set up for you today. Love that. And I also, what's great about it is if people, if the consumer was smart, it gives them the opportunity to get in when they want to come mm -hmm. in. And I think a lot of times we forget that let's make them be aware of that. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Give Absolutely. me one more little tip on, on pre-booking. Mm. Quick little one. Okay, quick little one. If a client says no, Yes, great. How's great. that one? Yes, okay. what do so you do? So a client says no. Well, instead of just missing them and letting them go, you know, into hoping that they're going to call back, I believe we should have a VIP list. Mm. Now, okay, talk to me about the VIP a list. A VIP list is a special list that um, I know you're a you're busy guy. You're flying mm -hmm. all over like I do, right? It's probably hard for you and me to pre-book. However, the front desk could say, now, Sam, I know you have a busy schedule. How about if I put you on the VIP list if you've said no to the pre-book? Now, 
if they see VIP list, of course, you're saying yep. in your mind, well, then I must because I am a VIP, right? Yes, you really <laughs> just plugged it in my head. Exactly. So what that does is it just gives the front desk a, a little cheat sheet for later that says the, um, the client's name, when they're due, the service provider. Now, that client's kind of like in the holding pattern of the, you know, the, the time that they need to come back in. When there's an opening and we get closer, we start bringing those people down into the book and landing them on the week that they're Wow, due. I love that. That's like Alaska Airlines. When I was flying Alaska Airlines last week, they have an MVP. So I thought, well, how do I become an MVP? <laughs> it right away was like, I want to be an MVP, but right. it's all about their miles, flying uh -huh. with their miles. And when you're an MVP, you get to board first. Uh -huh. So it's almost like, let's uh, VIP. If you said, well, I want to put you on a VIP list, I'm like, oh, great. Well, thank you. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Really sold me on that. Good. Christy, thank you so much for that. And once again, if you've never been or seen Christy Valenzuela, you have to see her and go to her website, crystalfocus.com. Christy, thanks so much for taking the time, swinging by the studio. You know we appreciate it. And thank you so much for what you do for this industry.